find this lesson and other resources at abcconnectforlearning.ca. My name is Ariana, and today I will be walking you through our ABC Connect for Learning lesson on how to download Acrobat Reader and use it to read PDF documents. This lesson is one of many activities available through our ABC Connect for Learning program. Acrobat Reader is a free program you can use to view PDF documents. PDF stands for Portable Document Format. You can usually tell if a file is a PDF if it shows the letters PDF across the bottom. In this video, you'll learn how to download and open Acrobat Reader and you'll learn how to zoom in and out of PDF documents. In this video, we're focusing on how to use the free version of Acrobat Reader. If you already have Acrobat Reader installed on your computer, you can open it now. To do this, click the search bar on the bottom of your screen. Type Acrobat. Then click Adobe Acrobat from the search results. If you do not have Acrobat Reader installed on your computer already, I'm going to walk you through how you can download it. So if you already have it, you can skip this part of the video. First, you'll need to open up an internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome which I can find on the bottom of my screen. I'm going to click on it once to open it. Now I'm going to type www.get.adobe.com slash reader into the address bar and press enter. This will take me to the website where I can download the free version of Acrobat Reader. There is a blue button on this page that says download Acrobat Reader. I'm going to click on this blue button once. Acrobat Reader will start to download onto my computer. It might take a few minutes for the program to fully download. A pop-up window will appear and you'll need to click Save. I can find the downloaded file by clicking the Downloads button at the top right of Google Chrome. It looks like an arrow pointing down with a line underneath it. You'll see that there's a pop-up called Recent Download History. I'm going to click on the downloaded file. This will add Acrobat Reader to my computer. Once it's been added to my computer, I'm going to click on Finish. You may get a pop-up asking if you want to set Acrobat Reader as the default app for opening PDFs. This means anytime you download and open a PDF, it will automatically open an Acrobat Reader. You can decide if you'd like to do this or not. Once you've added Acrobat Reader to your computer, it will open automatically. This is what Acrobat Reader looks like. If your screen looks a bit different, it might be because you're using an older or a newer version of the program. If you've just downloaded the program for the first time, you'll see a welcome screen. I'm going to open the PDF called Welcome by double clicking on it. This PDF provides an introduction to Acrobat Reader. If you already had Acrobat Reader on your computer, you might not have this file. 
but you can open any PDF that you see in the Recent Downloads section. Now that I've opened the PDF, I can scroll up and down the document by using the scroll bar on the right, or by using the scroll wheel on my mouse. You can also zoom in and out of a PDF by using the zoom icons at the bottom right. When you zoom in on the document, it makes the document look bigger. To zoom in, click the magnifying glass icon with the plus sign. To zoom back out, click the magnifying glass icon with the minus sign. To close this PDF, but keep Acrobat Reader open, click on the X at the top of the document. If you want to close Acrobat Reader, click on the X at the top right of the screen. In addition to viewing PDF documents, you can also use Acrobat Reader to add text to PDFs, highlight text, add check marks or cross marks, and a few other actions. You can check out our lesson on using some of these features or get a PDF copy of this lesson by visiting our website at abcconnectforlearning.ca. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.